Okay, before we get to trial balance, let's try to do the posting. I'll show you a few examples of posting these transactions again. So these are the journal entries that we did a little bit earlier. Remember, we have four of these. If we want to post these to T accounts, it will look like this. You have cash affected, common stock affected. Again, you open up two accounts. Post the debit side to cash debit side, credit side to common stock credit side. Okay, so again, journal entry and ledger really is the same information, just a different format. Okay, for medical supplies, accounts payable. So one of them is asset account, one of them is liability account. Okay, this was an entry that we did earlier. We want to represent this under T account form, the ledger. You have two accounts open up. Debit goes to the debit side of asset account. Credit goes to liability increase. So we purchase supplies and we're not yet paid it by cash. This affects asset account and affects liability account. Liability increase posted under the credit side. Is this only working through cash? Or is it like also credit cards? Um, Credit card would be the idea of accounts payable for part of these. We'll be getting into that in Chapter 8. So yes, this also re represents all the transactions that relates to dollar amount, monetary terms. So yes, it incorporates cash, credit cards, checks, other types of contracts that you promised, notes. All of these falls under it. Uh, accounting will be captured all of those transactions. Okay, where was I? Um, Going into the next transaction here, if we paid off cash, I'm specifically paying for rent, we have an expense account open up. Cash account will be just using the one that we had earlier. Post the rent expense dollar amount and the cash that we use up to the credit <coughs> side. Okay, accounts receivable, service revenue. So we have assets increase on the debit side, we have revenue increase on the credit side. Again, open up two accounts, debit amount goes to debit side, credit amount goes to credit side. All right, if we take a look at all the accounts that we just used for these four transactions, we will have seven accounts open up here, and specifically assets, we have cash, you have accounts receivables, medical supplies, liability, there's accounts payable, one of the transactions that we promised to pay parties later. Equity, there's common stock, raised capital from the public, that transaction, the first one. You have service revenue and rent expense. So if we were to summarize these, just these four transactions, then the balance, again, we'll be posting it, summarizing the balance on the normal balance side for each and every account. So for assets, normal balance is the plus side. Remember the debit side. Accounts payable, liability will be the credit side. Common stock, equity account, normally is also the right side. Expense and dividends are on the left side. Okay, so these, this is an example of getting to a trial balance with only four transactions. If we were to summarize ledger and posting, figuring out the balance for each and every T account, it will look like this. And we will only be using the black highlighted numbers for trial balance. Okay, now trial balance, again, is an internal document. It's not disclosed to the public. It's just for the purpose of supporting getting to financial statements. So we'll be summarizing this information based on the sequence of accounting equation as well. So we will start from assets, then list liability, then equity. So really pretty much it's the same sequence as uh, how we write accounting equation.